Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. We hope you're doing very well. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the MiG-21 and looking at the various types of air-to-air -air weapons and then we'll be testing them out and doing some tutorials for them. Uh, today we've got the number one YouTube teacher, which is Stali Wally. Say, hey, say hello, Shal. Hello. Right. So we want to talk about the weapons that we get on the MiG-21. Shall I open up my weapons screen, my arming screen? Yes. Okay. Right, Stahl, um, where do you want to start with a uh, gun first of all? We've got different ammo types. Uh, yeah, there's three different ammo types. There is the air to air ground shells mix, which is going to be mostly high explosive or uh, fragmentation ra um, ra Then you have the air to ground, which is going to be mostly armor piercing. And then there's a 50 50 mix, which is the general gun shells mix, which you're going to have by default. Roger. Right, missiles. Which pylon are we going to go to? Uh, well, maybe we should just talk about the pylons first. As you can see, you have seven of them. Uh, one through five are the ones that you can actually mount weapons on. Um, six, as you can see, are actually along the fuse large towards the back. Uh, that's only used for rating units and counter measures. And seven is only for smoke, so if you're going to combat, you're never going to need that. Roger. Cool. So your air-to-air -air missiles are all going to be on pylons one, two, four, and five. Which, by the way, does not exactly correlate with what you have on your dashboard. You know, you have this uh, this store select, mm. um, and there you have stores one, two, three, and four. The stores on the MiG twenty one are, I believe, three and four as the left and right wingtip um, okay. store, and the inner pylons are one and two. I don't. That's weird, but okay. Yes. Right. Um, so if you just look at store number five and go to air to air. Five, Roger, air to air. All right. So you can see we have quite a selection of air to air missiles, but frankly, few of them are actually useful. Um, the R thirteen M's and M ones are heat seekers. The M ones, according to the manual, are roughly equivalent to the M nine P. Roughly what the um, F five has. Uh, the R3R is a semi-active radar homing missile, but that's not quite like you have in many more modern aircraft. As a pretty long-range missile, it's about the same range as a heatseeker would have. Good lord, that's awful. <coughs> yeah, that's not exactly amazing. Um, the R3S is the same missile as the R3R, but it has an infrared seeker head. Um, mostly mostly rear aspect and pretty bad G tolerance so G tolerant although it does have a bit more range than an R60 Roger underneath we have our good old friend the R60 infrared seeker missile um, they have fairly short range but they're very maneuverable they do have a bit of a measly warhead though which mm -hmm. kind of keeps up um, mostly we're going to be using the R60Ms um, those are just the improved version of the R60s or Though there is a way to increase the amount of missiles you can carry by mixing and matching, we'll get into that later. Mm -hmm. Lastly, the RS2 US are mostly for shits and giggles. They're fun to play around with, but honestly not particularly useful. They are radar beam riding missiles, so you can actually manually steer them um, by mm -hmm. just adjusting where the nose of your aircraft goes to. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's not super useful, but it, it's fun. Um, I believe there's some more if you look at the number 4 pylon. Yeah, there we also have the R55s. They are also infrared uh, ah. missiles. Uh, basically the infrared version of the RS2 US. But, you know, also not super useful. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's air to missiles then. Roger, thank you very much, Tom. Right, I hope that helps. Uh, we're going to do some tutorials next, so we'll see you later.